Rommel. What are the sentiments of farmers there and how are they? Yes, Sean, the agriculture sector in Cagayan uh, suffered the most when Ulysses battered the province last week. The agriculture-dependent province has lost millions worth of palai, corn, and other high-value crops. Residents lament how they totally lost their livelihood to the typhoon. Damage to agriculture in Cagayan now stands at nearly 448 million pesos. Losses to livestock alone are pegged at 8 million pesos. Farmers say they can no longer cash in on their harvest and that the damaged crops will be now utilized for their personal consumption. With this, they are seeking genuine assistance from the government. We spoke to one Cagayanon farmer who has been working as a farmer for four decades, but in all the calamities that he has experienced, he has not yet received any kind of help from the government. Let's listen to this farmer, Sean. Baka ibubulsa yung mga ayuda na binibigay sa magsasaka dito, sir. Bakit hindi nakakarat? Hindi nakakarat, hindi po natikmang pang mga ayuda, sir. Sa edad kong yan, wala ka pa? Mga edad kong 50, wala pa akong natanggap kahit isang bin ilang o ano. Sean Cagayan sa neighboring province of Isabela was likewise severely hit by uh, the typhoon. More than 4,500 hectares of agricultural land in the area were affected. The provincial government of Isabela warns of a possible spike in prices of feeds. Sean? Thanks so much for that update. Romel Lopez of News 5 joining us live from Tugigaraw City.